Hey, what's up people? Mr. Bob right here and finally I welcome you another mod video on my MadCats TES Plus the Shadow Edition from MadCats of course and it's once again I am going to remove the artwork right here and put the new one right here. I, I, it's open but I haven't seen it yet and the people that I've been getting the artwork and also a pexi glass. Yes, they do make a pexi glass. It's from techintervention.com. I'll leave the link down in the description. That's how I made the other stick over here. I'll bring it to you guys right now. But yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do right now is to change the artwork. But as you can see, this is my the Hori Rap 4, my Akuma stick basically. And I used the artwork and the pexiglass from techinterration.com and it's pretty nice and you want to see this video on how I changed the artwork on the Hori uh, make sure to go down the description to check out that video but yes they give you a pexiglass and then the artwork which is kind of like a piece of paper um, just make sure to not rip it or anything of course because it's just a paper so right now we are going to change it, but there are some things before we get into it is that I did not know if this will cover your warranty. I know with one of my friends, he knows about a little bit more five sticks than I do. But he said that if you change the joystick on the Mac Cats, you will void the warranty and also open the bottom of the five stick. So you do one of those two, you will void the warranty. So. I did not know about the sticker. That's the one thing because you can see it's already trying to come out. And a little bit of right here which is like peeling off a little bit. But it still works. It still looks fine. But that's the only issue about this sticker right here. I think I could just like peel it off like once I take out all these bolts right here. And we'll see right now once I get into it. But of course. We just have to see right now what you're going to see and what is my artwork. But all I can say is that I'm not very good at making artworks, guys. I mean, I try, but, you know, I'm not very professional or, like, you know, those type of people that make crazy custom artworks. I'm not like that. I wish I could be, but, you know, it takes a lot of time. But this one I just wanted to do for fun. But, of course, since the sticker of the Mac has right here is pulling off, I was like, you know what? I'll just try to get another artwork and put it right here and also with the plexiglass so of course I'll show you what the artwork is right now and then from that we are going to continue on to remove everything take out the sticker and also the buttons and I think a little bit in a little bit probably one of my friends is going to come over and see how I install the Mad Cat's artwork in here alright so I'll be right back let me just uh, get this open with my two hands, so I'll be right back guys So here it is guys. This is my artwork. Yes, Miss Karen from Street Fighter 5 Yes, this is my artwork and she's one of my favorites in Street Fighter 5's um, She's my main basically so I do play her a lot But yes, Miss Karen and also I got some of the 8 bits over here just on top of the where the touch pad the LED lights and all that but oh my god I, I do love how the artwork looks and also the pexi glasses you can see here there's kinda like let's see yes the I think it's in the inside oh no yes there you go guys so there's a pexi glass and then the artwork in the bottom and of course there's some cutouts I can see as you can see here for like if you guys have clear buttons, I guess. I think that's for sure that for yourself that you want to put clear buttons, you could put it on that. But of course, um, nothing else comes with this artwork. You just get the plexiglass and also the artwork. But of course, if you want to buy both of them, they're separate. So they're, they're not like bundled together. You have to buy them separately. But of course, they'll come together when you buy it. But of course, I'm very excited. I'm glad that the the artwork looks nice, the pexi glass. Now we are going to remove everything here and of course try to get our stuff ready and try to take out how 
this sticker will will kind of get out basically so right now let me just open the stick and I'll be right back one more thing I forgot to mention to show you guys how the artwork looks it's like this of course that's how the TS plus is and in the back it's just like like a thin paper I will say not not too thin but as you can see it's like like almost like a sheet of paper almost but it doesn't feel like that but it feels really nice but of course if you cut it well you know too late for that so that's the artwork I already took out the little pieces right there for the buttons and of course we got the pixie glass and very nice it's a little you know wobbly as you can see but once I guess you put it it'll be sitting still but of course make sure to not like bend or anything because this is kind of very fragile as you can see it's an acrylic pixie glass so it's pretty nice and that's the same thing I use for my Hori over there the same thing just that with the Hori it came with uh, separate uh, screws and washers because I think for putting the pixie glass and also the artwork in it was kind of a little bit different because the Hori you basically had to scrape off the sticker which were like two glued stickers in the bottom so Yes, I'll be right back. Let me just open the stick. Hey guys, what I use to open the Mad Cat uh, TES Plus, depending on, you know, most fight sticks will have torque screws like this. They're not regular, like, screwdriver or flatheads. They're torque screws. And what I use is basically Hyper Tough, the 44-piece precision. I got it at Walmart for, like, 10 bucks, so it's not bad. Like, I think in total it will be maybe around 12 or 11 bucks. But... I got this because it is really helpful for me when I want to use it for my computers and stuff but mostly you could use this for um, your fight sticks but I use of course a torque like bit but of course the torque bit is a I know you cannot see it if I put it in the camera yeah because it's trying to focus but all I can say is the is it's called the CRV T15 so it's a T15 torch screw that's the way to open these fight sticks and also for most fight sticks that have you know these, these torque screws and I'll give you an example right now so that you know I'm not lying to you guys but of course this does work on my um, Hori but the Hori mostly has uh, screwdrivers on the back that's the only way to open it but of course um, we'll just show you that it does work so there you go Yes, open. And I could just use the tar screw to take it out, but there you go. That's how you open it. And I'll do the rest for the meantime, and of course I'll show you how to take out the buttons as well. Well, for most of you that do not know what kind of buttons I have on the bottom of the, the fight stick. Okay guys, I already opened the bottom of the fight stick right here. Um, not the whole bottom, but just the top plate. I, I flipped it around, and as you can see, I got some uh, screw buttons. Yes, those are the ones I've been using for my fight stick. And if you haven't seen some of those videos already, I leave the playlist down in the description uh, for you guys to see how I, you know, show you what, like, how these buttons work and how they fit and everything like that. Just to give you guys on how you feel if you want to buy some screw buttons. But as you can see, all the screw, screw buttons almost fit except for this one because of this little piece right here this thing is kind of not letting it screw in because of this orange screw so we are going to remove the ball top not the whole thing but just the ball top and also we have to replace all or take all the wires out in order for us to basically get into the buttons and it will be easy for me because of these screw buttons but this one will be also easy because I already know how to open it but of course, make sure that you label your your wires first. Make sure you label your water, um, wires on the back plate right here because you don't want to get confused later on that you do not remember which wire goes to which wire. But of course, just make sure to go over your wires, you know, what button goes with what wire, and just label it with a marker or something so that you remember all. Oh, these are the black wire, brown, purple, blue, and I think this is orange, red right here, red, and then green, and then yellow. So that's what we're going to do right now, but of course, um, 
one thing's for sure we are going to open this button right here first because I want to show you guys that you know some people do not know how to open some of these buttons I don't know how but you know some people you know for the first time learning about 56 they want to know how to open it so first just make sure to take out the wires yeah they take off pretty easily because I already know how to open it so there you go that's the black wire so we'll move that to the side and right here there's some little flaps there's one right here and another one back here so all you gotta do is just press it press it down with your fingertips alright and if you have chubby fingers like I do and sometimes it's gonna get harder because most 5.6 will have these type of buttons and I know for most of you that do not have screw buttons you mostly have these because of course I changed all the buttons you could use a flathead screwdriver and you could just push in the little tabs right here just push it in and and there you go the button is out of course there you go and the same thing goes with uh, most five sticks out there that have these type of buttons they will mostly have these but of course you want to get fancy and don't want to like do too much where you could buy these screw buttons because they're so easy to basically remove see and I could just remove it and of course just take out the wire and done deal so right now as well I am going to do the ball top but I'll get to that once I remove all the wires and the buttons first so I'll be right back okay guys we are going to remove the ball top I already removed my buttons as you can see here I already labeled mine like a long time ago but just to give you guys that's how they go in the right the wires but of course to open the ball top that, that we're mostly going to do right now I can do it because I, I need my two hands but one thing for sure, you gotta make sure you have a flathead screwdriver. It, at least it gotta be like a bigger one, you know. Just this one, it does work because it's a bit. But if you have a bigger screwdriver, I think this will work uh, really easily for you. So you gotta put it like right in between here, as you can hear, as you can see the little metal plate right here. You gotta stick your, of course, your screwdriver in. Make sure that it's in place, and. With your other hand on the ball top, you gotta reverse it. So with with of course a screwdriver, you gotta turn it this way. So uh, you gotta turn it this way. Alright, and then from your to the ball top you gotta turn it uh, clockwise. So that's what you gotta do to in order to remove it. I wish I could do it right now, but of course I need my two hands. So we got we are going to take that off and then that's when we get into taking off the sticker. Okay guys, I am here. We took off the buttons, the ball top, and we are basically going to take out the sticker. And of course, the ball top is right here and also the little the garments that kind of protect it so that there's no dust into it. Of course, the other piece is over here, but we are going to take off the sticker. But just to be aware, before you take it off, I do not know it will cover warranty. So, please be assured, you know, I'm just warning you guys and it's not my responsibility that you know you guys remove it because uh oh like maybe something went wrong with your with your fat i mean your five stick my bad and you know you remove the sticker but it was in warranty and you know all that stuff so just to give you a safe side if you do not want to do what i'm doing that's all right you could do something else if you can but of course this mad cast is a basically a sticker so we are going to peel it off a nice and easy yeah it's kind of like a little bit stick in there let's see if I could open it yeah I could I could feel the glue yeah it's the glue right here oh this is very nice I, I'm not gonna lie they did a very good job with this sticker so it, it really gets out very easily as you can see and the bottom is like that's how it looks oh wow just snap into place after I let it go so don't worry guys I I did this because you know I wanted to change my artwork which is fine I don't mind the shadow loop edition how it looks it looks pretty nice but of course I, I just wanted to customize my mad cats uh, for the first time and maybe later on if I buy another Mad Cat, um, you know, five stick, then I will basically 
um, leave it like that or I could change it whenever I want to so huh very nicely I, I never thought it would be this hard so and we're almost done except for the ball top down there as you can see so let me sorry about that guys you know I'm trying to work with my both hands right here but um, I'll be right back let me just get my two hands and I'll be right back okay guys I am back and oh I, I really this is a lot easier than the hori one over there because the hori it kind of had double glued on the bottom of the sticker and I had to basically rip it off so and cut it at least but it, like I said you want to see the video go down in the description but not bad I, I, I do really like how they made this sticker pretty nicely maybe in the future I could try to get like you know another way to get this get this type of sticker but for the meantime I'll probably maybe maybe put it in the wall maybe I'm not sure but I think I'll just put it back in the where I got my uh, artwork of course oh my god it's st stuck into my hand but either way we are ready to put my artwork right here yes oh wire there you go so well so there's some little I guess holes or not holes but like metal plates around the joystick that's kind of interesting but of course first what you gotta do is put the artwork do not put the pexi glass first and then the artwork so we're gonna put it over it just like that I know it's a little bit of glue in there but we'll be alright for the meantime very nicely yeah just making sure that every corner is very nice and neat yeah it looks it fixed perfectly even though there's like a little bit like you know it feels like it's not you know perfect but I mean it is perfect I mean look it fits nicely but you know probably a lot of you are probably gonna say oh but so look at that white line you should have done better like no like whatever guys this this is fantastic so that's how it looks and I think I also need to peel off the little thing right there for the for the screws um, any more nope that's it that's all you need okay that's how it looks next thing is to put the pixie glass in and we're just gonna lay a top over and that should be it yeah very nicely of course I just had to work it work it a little bit more better over here on the pixie glass but yeah wow it looks very nice it looks handy dandy so I'll be right back let me just try to configure everything else and you know give you guys what's going on for my artwork now so I think right now what we're gonna do for once I put everything is to probably we are going to put the buttons back in and the ball top and later on that I'll show you guys that I did put the same screws as before and let's see if that looks really nice and not I just had to figure out what else to do so I'll be right back let me just put everything back and of course let's see if the torque screws are good enough for this to work so be right back guys okay guys this is how it looks I haven't put in the wires but just to give you an idea that yeah all of these buttons fit perfectly they do they uh, they never give me a problem of course the screw buttons are a little bit more easier and the regular one which is mostly a silent button it did fit perfectly on the pexi glass and also with the artwork just that uh, the way I did it, of course is that you have to put the artwork and the pexi glass first and then you do the ball top and then later on you do the buttons that's how I did it so that you don't feel like oh no I need to put the button first but no because where's the artwork with the pexi glass so that's what I did I put the pexi glass first the artwork 
then I did the the ball top and then I worked on the buttons and as you can see here in the bottom they fit perfectly just as before so right now I'm just going to wire everything up and be amazed that my pixie glass finally came so right now I'm kinda like a little bit stuck but I'll be right back <laughs> sorry about that. okay guys we are finally going to screw in all of the bits right here now I don't, don't want to do too much pressure like I don't want to over tighten it so I'm just gonna like just a little bit like like once I feel like it doesn't need to turn anymore that's where I'm gonna leave it at cause of course the pexi glass does leave like a bump almost not not too much but just a little bit if you like over tighten it so I think probably that's why the sticker was a little bit too much peeling off because I guess like when me and my friend uh, try to always take it out and change buttons or ball top, bat top, all that stuff we basically took off almost all the screws and we don't want to over tighten it but we did a couple of times so yes I think this might be the last screw and we are done it's uh, just a little tiny but there you go I'm sorry I need to focus thank you there's my Karen artwork guys and as you can see here very nice indeed let's see if I could try to focus a little bit there you go of course there's a little bit on it like a little bit of the pixie glass coming out of it yeah I'm trying to focus guys but of course I'm using my phone for my focusing so I can't do very much about it but there you go very nice does go along with the edge of course it can it can be that much perfect but it does fit very nicely around the whole area of the five stick yes I am happy that it came today. I am very excited. I am. I am surprised. This is my second artwork that I done for my, of course, my five stick. So that is the end of the mod, guys. Yes, that's all I did for this five stick. Is basically from the very first time I had the buttons first. These of uh, these four buttons right here. And then later on I got these three new buttons, but of course one of them was of course a silent button. So I had to basically, well I did order uh, another pair of yellow buttons, like just regular yellow buttons. And they kind of didn't work with what kind of color I was going for. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy all red and change out the top yellow and then I'll leave this blue right here. But of course this fits nicely and also around here there's there's no gap or anything of course you could feel the pexi glass but no gap at all and of course the 8 bit Karen right there I got like that I wish I could have you know put it around like around the hour but I was like nah I think I'll just leave it up there you know her laughing and all that stuff so yes that is my Karen five stick guys so there's the end of the mod you know there's nothing else I can do but maybe next time I'll make another one you know make another mod of the TES plus and of course I'll probably maybe change another artwork with different buttons and maybe another different ball top but of course I I'm not sure if I'll keep this black one or change it this little you know dust watcher thing so that dust doesn't go into it but there you go guys, that's my Karen five stick artwork that I modded and of course share with some of your friends, you know, if they have a TES Plus you know, and they want to change out the artwork show them this video and of course I do not know if you could take out this thing right here the side of the five stick because I know some people who have the TE2 they do have like customized like paint or I want to I don't I don't think it's paint but they somehow take this off and put a different color on it and 
that's what I'm thinking about doing. But either way, I'm very happy with the artwork and the pixie glass. They fit really nicely. It feels nice, just like uh, the Akuma over there. Just the same thing. But there you go, guys. That's the artwork of my TES Plus, the Shalu edition. But now it's the Karen Fight Stick. But thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. You know, for more mod videos, but of course, I probably won't do that in a little while. But maybe in a future video, I'll probably make another one and maybe put someone else in here. But for sure, I'm just gonna uh, keep Karen in. If not, I'll probably change a little bit of the artwork over there for my Akuma stick, but in a future video. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. All right, keep on playing and game for life, guys. See you later.